all the way from Colorado. It is Sean. We're going to be talking about Q Marketplace. Welcome to the show. How are you? Thanks, Donna. Doing great. Great. So Boulder, Colorado. Uh, Q Marketplace, what is it? What, how, what is the concept about? Sure. Uh, Q Marketplace is an online resource for small business owners and entrepreneurs to find all the software that they would need to run their business. In today's data-driven economy, it's really important, especially for small business owners, to be as efficient as possible. So that was really why we were set up, is to help the small business owner find everything they are, they're going to need to run their business really effectively and be able to compete. Now, the founder, you said, is also somebody that's invented other businesses before Kevin. Let's talk a little bit about his background. Sure, yeah. So Kevin's a seasoned entrepreneur. He's founded some several large companies and other smaller ones. Um, he's been a mentor of mine for many years. Um, at my previous job, he uh, you know, helped me kind of just grow and into my career, and he's given me an opportunity to run this small business and this startup um, you know, at the ground level, which is really exciting. I feel like he's given me a really good opportunity to, to really make a difference in the small business community and, and, and do some good stuff, so it's really nice. And what are you doing that's a little different than <clears throat> other places? Uh, sure. Q Marketplace, you know, anybody could maybe say, well, I'll just go get my own suite of these things, sure. right? What makes you different? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, what we really pride ourselves on is um, spending a lot of time researching all the different products out there. There are literally thousands of products in some of the major categories that you're going to need to run your business, um, in, whether it's in accounting, in HR, um, payroll, appointment scheduling, all those kind of major categories that you would need to run any small business. There's sometimes thousands of choices there and we've really taken the time and energy to do the research to provide our customers and our potential customers that research up front to save them all that time. Now you were saying <clears throat> your sweet spot is people that have like one to 50 employees. Sure, yeah. Okay. We're kind of focused on the smaller smaller businesses. Okay, yep. so what are some of the challenges that that size of a business owner has compared to like, you know, major corporations sure. specifically? Like what are some of the solutions that you're helping people? Absolutely. With? Well, I mean, one of the biggest things is that if you're running a small business, you're wearing many hats. So. <laughs> Typically, and I know this from my own personal experience, I would, you know, there's probably four or five things that I'd like to be focused on to help the business grow, and finding software usually isn't one of them. I'd want to get it found quickly, have the ability to get it set up quickly, and then be able to manage it really efficiently. Um, and that's what Q does, is we, we help you find it quickly, we help you implement it, we've done all the research, we actually, you know, start trials with all the different offerings out there in each of the categories, we run through their customer service, you know, we put them through the paces. Um, we're also negotiating, um, you know, the best rates possible for our customers, so you're going to save money on your subscriptions, um, and then you know, be able to manage it in one spot on our dashboard. So again, it's just to give you, give those small business owners and entrepreneurs time back to focus on the things that are important to growing their business. It's like a concierge <clears throat> service, right? Someone you're kind of like Absolutely. their best friend, right? Yep. So you're you're kind of like partnering <clears throat> with them in a way and helping them understand some of the logistics, and you've done all the research for them. Yeah, absolutely. So that they can focus on things <clears throat> that they like to do, yep. or that they do well. Um, so you've had other jobs in the industry. You got kind of got plucked out of this because of your own personal background. Sure. So can you tell us about what makes you you? Yeah, I mean, so I mean, I was more of an entrepreneur before. I was working at a larger corporation, but before I started there, um, you know, the company was fairly small, and I helped, you know, grow a pretty large sales team working with the large accounts and telecommunications in the wireless space. Um, you know, really found a lot of job satisfaction around leadership and, you know, finding ways to, to help the company grow and, you know, create success for everyone around me. Um, so that was, that was, you know, really important to Kevin to have someone with that sort of a background and um, the ability to, you know, lead his team. <clears throat> now you guys are fairly new, uh, yep. but I know you've already had uh, hit the ground running with some success stories. Can you share with us um, one success story without maybe naming the company of somebody that you've helped and, yeah, sure. and, and what the process was, yeah. you know, what the situation was, what your objective was, because I think um, it makes it very relatable because we have, we do, we have a lot of people out there that either have small businesses or have, haven't started to open up their own small yep. business. So as a resource for them, talk us through that. Give us an example of sure. something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so in Colorado, there are a lot of new businesses forming um, around um, not just kind of you know your standard um, kind of small business area but like in the cannabis industry we're really focused on helping them get off the ground running um, with all the different pieces of technology that go into that business from um, you know tracking things from when it's all about inventory tracking and compliance with the different laws that are in each state um, as well as just the normal kind of collaboration tools you would need and um, HR and scheduling software um, and then also making sure that they're you know 
taking care of their customer and their customer relationships and keeping track of that in a database. So it's, um, you know, we're really spending a ton of time with not just like one company there, but like all of the ones that are, you know, being part of that ecosystem and creating that space right now. And then, you know, interacting with them, figuring out what works well for them and putting that together with our partnerships and with our offerings to really give them a leg up when they're, you know, opening up their doors. And besides <clears throat> business, how do you like to live it up, Sean? What like what do you do to like make make yeah. your life happy? Like what hobbies do you have? What do you do? Sure. Um, so living in Colorado, there's a ton of stuff to do outdoors. I mean, that's why I moved there 20 years ago. I snowboard quite often in the winter. I'm mountain biking all the time in the summertime. Taking my kid camping, a little bit of rock climbing. Not so much anymore as I'm getting a little older, but. Um, you know, lots of outdoor stuff. You know, there's there's great food and, and nightlife as well. And, you know, just spending time with friends and family and, and enjoying the beautiful surroundings of Colorado. That, that comes <laughs> along make with it living like, there. Yeah. And I was telling you my brother's moving there. So I, I said, can I hook you up? And you're like, yes. Of course. Um, and that's really <clears throat> what it's about. It's about that relationship building. Yeah. Uh, and so you're able to, you know, Q Marketplace can help any business from across the United States. They Absolutely, could just give yeah. you a call and say, hey, we need a, a suite of solutions. That's right. Um, we are, you know, we're focused on the United States. We're potentially going to look at um, being available in Canada and, and Europe soon, but we're really focused on small businesses and helping them in the United States. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining Thank you, us. Jonna. And, really and I've never it. been snowboarding, but I, you know, my grandparents were from Switzerland. Maybe I could try. I don't know. Absolutely. I've never skied. Never, never too late. <laughs> never too late. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We were happy to invite Sean from Colorado to join us here today.